A main staple in any surplus store are the old American ammo cans. Uh, they're starting to get a little bit harder to get these days because of uh, the forces are very small and a lot of this stuff just gets uh, crunched up for metal scrap. But one thing that happens with uh, folks, and I always have to tell them, is that the top comes off. And they say, oh, I broke my ammo can. This is done so that when you mount the box in the gun cradle, this doesn't put undue pressure on it. And they're going to fire the rounds that are inside, and they just throw it away. So you didn't break your ammo can. Also, you'll see there's a very nice rubber gasket in these. That makes these boxes airtight and watertight. That's why people like to have them, for everything from ammunition to tools in the car. When I was a kid, my father had always had an ammo can with his hand tools for the car in, uh, in the trunk. Now, here's a typical taxpayer waste of money. This little document says this can is empty as if you didn't notice it was empty. Now, there's something else that these cans have been used for. There's a gentleman that takes them and makes a radio. He puts a radio set inside with not old fashioned knobs on it and you got an ammo can radio. And then if you look on YouTube videos, you can make a small tent stove out of these. And they tell you about where to drill the holes and so on. And you've got a little stove to have in your tent. Now, the two most popular size cans, as I said, this is a 50. And then we also have a 30. Now you can see it's much thinner and not as high. But again, they make great toolboxes. Uh, locally, we have a big club that fly remote control airplanes, and they buy these cans to store their batteries in because they are watertight and airtight. So that's another, another use for these things. Uh, now, as of late, cans like this have been made in China. They come into the country, they don't have any nomenclature on them, uh, and they look the same, but they're not. I understand that if you take one home and keep it locked, keep the top down, and you put it in a tub of water, all the bubbles come out. That's an indication it's not airtight. So you have to be, you have to be alert to what you're purchasing.